Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum, dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to the program, Verses Through Voices. I'm your host, Muhammad. Today, we're going to listen to a recitation by Sheikh Abdul Fattah Taruti. This great reciter was born in 1965 in Egypt. He memorized the Holy Quran at a young age, just like all other famous Egyptian Quran reciters. The style of his recitation is similar to Sheikh Shahat Muhammad Anwar. In fact, he first followed the style of Sheikh Shahat Muhammad Anwar, but later on he developed his own style of recitation. Sheikh Abdul Fattah Taruti has visited many countries in the world for the recitation of the Quran, such as Spain, United States, Turkey, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, and of course the Islamic Republic of Iran. Some people converted to Islam after listening to the recitation of Sheikh Abdul Fattah Taruti. Sheikh Abdul Fattah Taruti recites the Quran currently in the mosques of Imam al Hussein and Sayyida Zainab. May Allah protect Sheikh Abdul Fattah Taruti and grant him a long and blessed life. <laughs>
Allah says in verse 105 of this surah, Surah Al-Anbiya, وَلَقَدْ كَتَبْنَا فِي الزَّبُورِ مِنْ بَعْدِ الذِّكْرِ أَنَّ الْأَرْضَ يَرِثُهَا عِبَادِيَ الصَّالِحُونَ Indeed, certainly we wrote in the Psalms. Psalms is the holy scripture of Prophet David, Prophet Dawood alayhi salam. We wrote in the Psalms after the Torah. Dhikr here means the Torah. Indeed, my righteous servants will inherit the earth. When Allah says that the righteous will inherit the earth, it means that they will be the rulers of the world. The ultimate fate of rulership in the world will be in the hands of the righteous people. This verse is actually about the end times. Okay, it's about the time when Imam Mahdi is going to reappear because that is when uh, the righteous will inherit the earth and that is when they will take over the world and rule uh, over the whole world. So this verse uh, is about the companions, the followers of Imam Mahdi who will inherit the earth. Then the verse reads, the next verse, there is indeed uh, a proclamation for a devout people in this. In this, there is indeed a divine proclamation for a devout people. So who is going to listen to Allah? Who is going to take heed of the verses of Allah? The devout people, those who are not devout, are they going to listen to Allah? Are they going to believe what the verses of Allah say? Are they going to believe that the righteous will inherit the earth? No. But when the devout people, when they listen and hear this verse, they will become hopeful of the future because they believe in the Qur'an, they believe in Islam. And when Allah says that this is going to happen, they are certain that this is going to happen. The next verse says that, Indeed, we did not send you, O Prophet, it's addressing the Prophet, we did not send you, but as a mercy to all nations. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ It means that Prophet Muhammad is a mercy to all nations. Whoever has the love of the Prophet in his heart, whoever follows the way and religion of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his progeny, it will be, Allah will have mercy on him. Okay? So that is why Allah says, you are a mercy to all nations. Through Prophet Muhammad, Allah will show His mercy to us. And the last verse in this recitation, verse 108, reads, It has been revealed to me that your God is the one God. So will you submit? So Prophet Muhammad is telling the people that there is only one God. We don't have two or three gods. God can only be one. And this is the most important and fundamental belief in Islam. It's Tawheed, believing in one God. Monotheism is the most important uh, pillar of Islam. Whoever wants to be a Muslim, they have to first say, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. They have to confess. They have to bear testimony that there is no God besides Allah. <laughs> Sheikh Abdul Fatah Taruti begins his recitation, verse 105 and 106 of Surah Al Anbiya, in Maqam Nahawand. Nahawand is one of the main maqamat in Arabic music. It's very similar to the minor scale in Western music, but not exactly the same. It's just similar. And uh, it's a very popular maqam and a very extremely beautiful maqam if it is performed in the right way. 
Shaykh Abdul Fattah Taruti, he's very good at, use, at using this maqam. Of course, not all reciters have used this maqam in their recitation. For example, Shaykh Abdul Basit has rarely used this maqam. Shaykh Mutawali Abdul Al has rarely used this maqam in his recitation. But Shaykh Abdul Fattah Taruti, he makes use of this maqam very much. So he recites verses 105 and 106 together because they are related in terms of meaning. So this is a very important point that we have to consider. When we want to connect the verses of the Qur'an together, we have to make sure that there is actually a connection between those verses. There is a relationship. There is a relationship in terms of the meaning of the verses that we are joining together. And Sheikh Abdul Fattah Taruti does this appropriately. Then, verse 106 and 107, he uses the highest note of Maqam Nahawand, which is called Jawabul Jawab. And uh, he shows his expertise in using this Maqam. He stops on the word Wahid. Wahid has the sign of Waqf Sali, which means that you are allowed to stop on this word, even though it's not uh, preferred, it's preferable that you continue. Nevertheless, you are allowed to stop on this word, and it's okay to stop on this word. And the last phrase that he recites, verse 108, he uses maqam nayruz, which is a combination of maqam rust and bayati. It starts with rust, then it goes up to bayati on the higher notes, and then it finishes with rust. Rust has different branches. One of the branches of maqam rust is nayruz, which is the combination of rust and bayati. We have other uh, branches as well, such as we have Mahur and we have Suznak. Suznak is Rust and Hijaz, Mahur is Rust and Ajam. So, as you can see, it has to end with Maqam Rust for a Maqam to be a branch of Rust. Okay, dear brothers and sisters, now it's time to listen to the recitation of Surah Al Anbiya, verses 105 to 108 recited by Shaykh Abdul Fattah Tarut. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
وما